Hey, East View Kids, I'm Joey, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're starting our science series called Experimental, where we'll learn all about a guy named Moses. But first, let's offer up our praise and worship to God by singing this song. We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go, go, go. Jesus said to go, go, go. We need to tell the story of Jesus and his love. So go, go, go. Go into all the world. Go, go, go. Teach the So for this week's lesson, we're going to learn about a baby being born. Nope, we're not talking about Christmas just yet. God used this baby to rescue the Israelites from slavery. His name is Moses. Let's take a look. Hello, it's me, the professor, and I'm very excited about our new science series, Experimental, where we are using our brain power and science experiments to understand God's Word, the Bible. Let's get started. Remember Joseph? He was second in command to Pharaoh, and his whole entire family came to live in Egypt. Well, Joseph's family kept growing and growing and growing. And 400 years later, there were a lot of Israelites. A different pharaoh made the Israelites into slaves. But because they continued to grow in number, the evil pharaoh came up with an evil plan. Pharaoh ordered that all Israelite baby boys be thrown into the Nile River. But there was one mom who could not hurt her child. Instead, the woman wove a basket and coated the outside with tar to make it waterproof. Then she placed her baby boy in the basket and put it in the reeds by the Nile River. Time out! This plan is to place a baby in a basket so it can float down the river? 
What if it tips over? What if he becomes supper for a crocodile? What if he floats down to a waterfall? This does not seem like the best plan. Whoa, don't worry. God's got this. Check it out. The Nile River was where Pharaoh's daughter, the Egyptian princess, bathed. The princess heard the baby's cries from the reeds. Bring me that basket, she said to her servants. The princess saw the baby and felt sorry for him. This must be a Hebrew baby, she said. The baby's older sister, Miriam, had been watching from a distance and went to the princess. Do you want me to go get and get one of the Hebrew women to take care of him, she asked. The princess agreed. Miriam ran home and got her mother, and the baby's very own mother took care of him until he was a young boy. When the child was older, he returned to the princess and became her son. The princess named him Moses, and he grew up in the palace. By using a basket and the Pharaoh's own daughter, God rescued Moses. Today's big idea, God rescues us. Let's fill up the beaker by answering questions from today's story. Where does this story take place? Egypt or Eden? This story takes place in Egypt. The Hebrew woman saved her baby by placing him in a robe or basket. The woman saved her baby by placing him in a basket. Who rescued the baby from the basket? The princess or his mother? The princess rescued the baby from the basket. What did the princess name the baby? Joseph or Moses? The princess named the baby Moses. Awesome, now check out what is bubbling out of the beaker. Cool fun facts. The river from today's story, the Nile River, is the longest river in the world. The length of the Nile is a whopping 4,160 miles long. Also, the Nile River is home to many cool creatures, including one of the planet's largest reptiles, the Nile Crocodile. Not a great place for a baby in a basket. I have a question. The big idea is God rescues us. I wasn't rescued from a river like Moses, so how did God save me? Hey Eastview Kids, I'm Pastor Amy and I'm here to answer all your experimental questions. Let's start at the beginning. We all mess up in sin, right? Well, the punishment of sin is death. But God did not want that to happen to us, so He came up with a plan to save everyone, including me and you. God sent His one and only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and take the punishment of our sins so that one day we can live with Him in heaven forever. God saved us from sin and death, and that is something to celebrate. All right, it's time to build a marble run. Say the memory verse with me to build our track. Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. You got it! Now let's check back in with the professor. Okay, so in today's story, Pharaoh's daughter saved baby Moses, had compassion on him, and rescued him from the river. Well, you know what? God had compassion on us, and He rescued us through His Son, Jesus. This bottle represents God. This hex nut represents us. And this roll of tape represents the sin that separates us from God. But because God loves us so much, He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for us, take away our sin, so we can be with God. Pretty cool, huh? Remember, today's big idea, God rescues us.
today's story, we saw how God saved baby Moses from being killed by Pharaoh. This is a reminder to us that our God is a God who saves. God rescues us. Now, I'm going to leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. Press pause, read them together, and then talk a little bit about it. I'm so glad you joined us. See you soon.